Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, Bitcoin price will hit $250,000 by quarter one of 2023, says Tim Draper. You guys are probably pretty familiar with that name because Tim Draper is a rather prominent name in the cryptocurrency space, and he's always been known as a very bullish person on Bitcoin. And this is interesting because this lines up almost exactly with the prediction that we've made in previous videos. So we're gonna be diving into this article a little bit later on in the video. But before we get into that, guys, we do have some technical analysis that we have to do. As you can see, the triangle pattern that Bitcoin was in yesterday that looked like this did go ahead and trade sideways and has reconsolidated into a new pattern. So in today's video, we're going to be doing some more analysis on this newer pattern and talking about whether or not this is going to break bullish, bearish, trade sideways again, or if we are in fact about to see a massive rally restart over the next couple of days. Guys, we've got a lot to dive into in this video. I do want to mention at the outset that these videos are sponsored by the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. If you want to learn how to do cryptocurrency TA, I highly recommend it. Check the link in the description. Without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead Ahead and dive right on into it. The first thing that we need to do is analyze yesterday's consolidation pattern and look at why this may not have broken out exactly the way we would have thought it would. In yesterday's video, there was something quite important that I forgot to mention, and that is my fault for not mentioning it, but that is that sometimes what consolidation patterns will do is that they will trade sideways and not have a breakout, but instead what they'll do is they'll develop the consolidation pattern and they'll trade sideways so that we can just have to redraw these two trend lines and then the breakout will happen a few days later or whatever the time frame allows for. That's what we saw here because Bitcoin broke bearish, but it wasn't a very significant break. And as you can see, we really just redefined where these trend lines should go. It wasn't a proper breakout. That will happen sometimes with consolidation patterns. In fact, it happens a whole lot. So you need to keep that in mind that sometimes a massive breakout isn't going to happen. Sometimes it's just a redefinition of the consolidation pattern. One thing we did mention in yesterday's video is you want to watch for a breakout with a lot of volume. While there was a small candlestick right here, there was a red candlestick here to signal that breakout. It wasn't a very large one. And in fact, guys, the breakout started up here on no volume. Someone asked in the comment section yesterday why you look for volume when you're having a breakout. It's because when you're having a breakout, you need to confirm that it's an actual breakout and not just something like we saw yesterday and just a, a redefinition of the consolidation pattern. But with that said, guys, it would be very difficult for Bitcoin to have a breakout today and just kind of trade sideways and redefine the consolidation pattern because we're getting so tight here. We'd only be able to redefine one of them because if we redefine both of them, we wouldn't be touching all of these points back over here and it wouldn't really even look like a consolidation pattern anymore. So what we're most likely to see is some kind of breakout coming today, maybe later on tomorrow morning. And I'm talking like one or two o'clock in the morning. As we can see, there's not a whole lot of time left in this consolidation pattern. There's only 18 hours, so it's most likely that we're going to have a breakout before I record tomorrow's video. And in fact, guys, if I have time, I wanted to do a live stream yesterday. I didn't have time to. If I have time tonight, we will do a live stream and we may very well be seeing a breakout during that live stream. So, so tune into that. That'll probably be going on around seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's UTC minus four. But as far as our indicators are concerned, I'm quite happy with the way they're looking, guys. We see that the hourly at MACD is starting to converge back on itself. We did have a bearish cross a few hours ago right here, but we're converging back bullish on ourselves as we test this level. Level of support and look like we're getting a bounce. If we can get back through this hourly 20 EMA, I'd be very happy to see that and we could see Bitcoin potentially start moving to the upside even farther. One thing also is that Bitcoin's RSI in the hourly chart is moving to the upside as well. Similar story out here on the four hourly, we can see that the MACD is trending bearish, but that actually tends to happen quite a lot in these pennants. You see that almost every time Bitcoin has a major rally like we saw here. When it goes into consolidation in a pennant, you're going to see retracement on the MACD. That's almost always how that happens. This isn't really anything to be worried about about per se because this is very common and normally this is actually the prelude to a new bullish cross on the MACD and a new uptrend on the chart. RSI is still sitting in healthy territory guys. In fact, we're getting kind of a bounce down here. We can use our cross and see that Bitcoin is having a bit of a bounce down here around the 50 level. You can see my cursor is at the 51 level. So long as the RSI stays above that, I'm quite happy with Bitcoin right now. If we go ahead and draw a level here on the 50, then what we're going to see is during all these downtrends, Bitcoin was sitting below it. During this uptrend starting right here and forward, Bitcoin was above 50. If we say above 50, that's looking pretty healthy, especially considering the previous market structure. That's something also we talk about in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy is market structure. But guys, the fact is Bitcoin was in an uptrend for seven days. We're having consolidation. We're not having a pullback. That's very bullish. And also one thing I forgot to mention in yesterday's video was that Bitcoin had this green candlestick right here. Then it had a red candlestick that didn't even encapsulate a half of this candlestick. And then you know what happened the next day? We had a bullish engulfing candlestick, which came up and rallied farther than the open of this red candlestick. That's a very 
very bullish sign. You, this is kind of a more advanced candlestick analysis. You don't see this a whole lot. But when you see a pattern like this, that's typically indicative of a lot of bullish strength. And these last two days over here have been kind of off the table because they're just going on with very short-term analysis. But this right here looks very bullish. I'm very happy to see that. One more thing to mention, guys, is that we are still gaining support here on the four hourly 20 exponential moving average. This is a very, very important moving average because if Bitcoin falls below this, as far as I'm concerned, well, one, we've had a bearish breakout, but two, Bitcoin is now bearish and in a new downtrend and is probably not going to be entering that rally that we've been looking for here over the last week or so. Right now, though, guys, Bitcoin is getting support on this and Bitcoin also happens to be getting support on the uptrend. So I'm pretty happy to see that. We're going to see what happens over the next 12 hours. As I've said in previous videos, what I need to see right now is I need to see which way the Bitcoin market is going to break out. I'm personally leaning slightly more to the bullish to the bullish side, but at the same time, that can go either way. Bitcoin could break bullish you could break bearish in consolidation patterns like this it's hard to tell honestly which direction it's going to break because sometimes i'll be honest with you these consolidation patterns are not going to break based off of the technical analysis most of the time they will but there's always that black swan event when bitcoin just goes and does something that you did not expect it to do and that's just the way that the markets work and that's why i tell you guys that you don't want to trade a consolidation pattern before the breakout you want to be putting your trades where you can be certain that they're safe and you're certain that they've been set up properly and that you're certain that you're managing your risk and reward because you can't be certain of what Bitcoin is going to do. The only thing you can be certain of is that you have set up your trade in a safe, profitable manner with proper risk management. And the way that you do that on consolidation patterns is you wait for the breakout and then you put a trade up here somewhere. You want to wait for that volume because like right here, if you had to put, let me give you an example, guys. If you were trading this consolidation pattern yesterday and you put a, a trade right here and you went ahead and had Bitcoin fall through the floor and then you caught a short position right here, hopefully you liquidated it. Hopefully you closed it because Bitcoin had a little bit of a rally from here. But if you're watching the chart, and sometimes I understand you can't be when the breakout happens. That's why you have these order positions. But when you're watching the breakout, you should have canceled this because if you look down here, we had no volume. Volume. This was not a very good breakout and clearly it wasn't because Bitcoin went ahead and redefined the consolidation pattern rather than having a proper breakout. You want to look for proper breakouts where you have a lot of volume and a lot of movement in just a few minutes. Breakouts will happen over the course of three or four minutes, which is why you like to have a order position like a stop limit order on the books before the market actually has the breakout so that you can catch the breakout and then you can put a stop loss right below you if you're watching it. So what that would look like is Bitcoin rallies here. You have a, you have a, a trade put in right here. You buy the Bitcoin as Bitcoin continues to rally with a lot of that volume, then you're making profit. And then what you can do is if you're on the... If you're on exchange, you can put your trade, your stop loss right below here and immediately be able to catch yourself if Bitcoin does fall back through. Or a more advanced technique, if you're not on an exchange that allows you to set up a stop loss in your order, Kraken does that by the way, what you can do instead is you can have some Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you're trading with already on the exchange, like part of your investing position, just on the exchange. And then you can have a stop limit order with that Bitcoin. Let's say for example, you're buying one Bitcoin. Let's say you could already have have one Bitcoin in your portfolio and have a stop limit set up with that before you even made that trade. Now there's some more nuance to that and you can only do that on certain exchanges, but I might get into that in a future video, but that is a way that you can kind of get around the not having stop losses thing. Anyway, guys, in general, right now, Bitcoin's in a very important decision point. If we break bullish, we're probably going to $14,000 and beyond by the end of the month, maybe even earlier than that. If we do break to the downside though, we're going to have some key levels of support to test and there's going to be bad news bears if we go much lower because I do not want to see Bitcoin go below this daily 20 EMA. And from there, I really don't want to see it go below 9,000, but just because I don't want it to happen does not mean it's not going to. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive on into some news here because as we can see, Mr. Tim Draper says Bitcoin price will hit $250,000 by quarter one of 2023 despite consolidation. And it's interesting that he says that because that was the exact prediction I was making in a video about three months ago. If I can find the video, I will have it linked here in the top right. What I was talking about in that video was Bitcoin going to $250,000 sometime during about 2022, in fact. And he said that his original prediction was for 2022 and he was putting it off for 2023 uh, to kind of hedge himself and to be and to be safe. But if we look up here, $250,000 seems like it's a long way away. It's right here, guys. This is where $250,000 is on the log chart. And this over here, like way off over here is 2023. Let me show you where 2023 is. If we put a data point on the chart, guys, this where my cursor is right now is where he's talking about Bitcoin going to and when he's talking about it going there. That really doesn't look like he's making a crazy prediction. Now, I know we're on the log chart here, but guys, Bitcoin moves very quickly and Bitcoin has not even come close to encapsulating anywhere near the amount of market capitalization that it has that it will do in the future and that it has done in the past. Bitcoin can very easily rally that far, in my opinion, especially if you consider that the next largest market than Bitcoin gold is worth nearly 
20 times as much as Bitcoin is. And in my honest opinion, Bitcoin does everything that gold does, but it's far better at it. Honestly, I think his prediction is a little conservative. I think this could very easily happen by quarter one of 2022. Bitcoin moves very quickly. In 2023, in my opinion, the bull market's probably going to be over and we might be in the next bear market. So we're going to see what happens here. But in general, I do stand by this prediction and I do think he's completely right. Tim Draper obviously knows what he's talking about or he wouldn't be worth as much as he is. And he is a very bullish person in the cryptocurrency space. But guys, tell me in the comments section down below what you think of a $250,000 Bitcoin. That seems like a large rally, but if we go ahead and draw out here, that is only a 2,000% gain over the course of 1,500 days, guys. We had a 1,000% gain like two years ago in the span of about a year. That is just so far within the realm of reason that it's hard to not believe that it's going to happen. But anyway, guys, what I want you to do is tell me in the poll in the top right and in the comment section down below which direction you think Bitcoin's going to break. Do you think it's going to break bullish or do you think it's going to break bearish? Do you think Bitcoin's going to restart the rally or do you think Bitcoin is going to crash and head back down towards lower lows? I know some people were bearish, but guys, as always, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you are interested in learning about technical analysis, I highly encourage you to check out the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Next week, I have a lot of work to do behind the scenes for some stuff, but also the week after that, I'm probably going to be starting to revamp these videos. I'm going to go through here and restructure the course. I'm going to be adding a lot more videos. I'm going to be remaking the videos that are already here. The videos that are already here are already very well produced and pretty well researched, but I want to go through and add some things, tweak some things, make it just even, you know, just add that extra 1% and make it even better. So guys, do look forward to that. If you're in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy, by the way, you have access to all current videos, all future videos. There is one charge at the beginning. You don't pay twice as lifetime membership. People ask me questions like that, so I want to clarify. But anyway, guys, like I said, that link is in the description if you are interested. But that's basically going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button, guys. Let's see if we can get to like two or 300 likes here. And also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we do daily cryptocurrency technical analysis videos. And make sure you hit that notification bell if you are already subscribed. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Like I said, I do want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.